and for my community. Uh, so many people have made sacrifices for me. Um, it's only been possible because of all the opportunities I received. And these opportunities have come in, in different forms. Um, for example, my parents who drove me eight hours every weekend so I could train on the Alberta team. Um, my team who's given me countless hours of their absolute very best. And then again here this uh, weekend uh, in Cyprus, of all the volunteers who worked overtime to build us an amazing venue despite uh, the lack of snow and weather challenges. So this is not unique though, and um, I think every athlete that you speak to, um, I know certainly the athletes I, that I know, uh, it is not unique the amount of opportunities we've had and the people behind us. And as we welcome the world here to Vancouver, we've seen many great achievements, incredible inspiration from Canadian athletes, but athletes around the world. And it's my belief that the Olympic spirit can really transcend the playing field. And I'd like to encourage uh, Canadians to show their Olympic spirit, to show their generosity to the world, and to not just make this Canada's most successful game, but to make this Canada's most giving game. So um, I know I certainly have been inspired by great athletes before. I think it's safe to say that as Canadians, we've all been inspired by athletes like Clara Hughes and Chandler Crawford for their incredible giving and their incredible generosity. So to kick things off, um, I'm here today because I'm donating $25,000 to the Because I Am a Girl campaign. This campaign works to lift girls out of poverty. And um, as a Canadian and as an Olympian, I've always felt like I've had the power in my hands um, to build a future, uh, a positive future. I mean, I've dreamt of being an Olympian all my life, and it was possible uh, because of these opportunities. And unfortunately, girls, many girls around the world don't have the same power in their hands. And I believe that through education, we can help give the power to these girls. I know that's certainly what I saw in Burkina Faso with a classroom filled of girls, and a 13-year-old girl told me that because she's in school, because of her school scholarship from this campaign, because I'm a girl, that she can be a full citizen of tomorrow. And that really touched me, and um, that's why I'm here today. So I'd like to invite um, everybody to consider supporting this cause. Um, you can learn more about it at becauseimagirl.ca. But uh, greater than that, uh, the reason also that Alex and I are here today is because we really want to encourage people to do their part. And I'm a firm believer that if everybody does just a little bit, um, whether it's in a donation, whether it's in time, whether it's in expertise, that we can make a huge difference. And um, as Canadians, we have a lot that we can offer um, each other and the world. So of course, this effort does not work alone. And um, I'd like to turn it over uh, to my teammate and friend who has uh, a cause very important and close to his part that he's here to support today. Mr. Alex Silvio. Yeah. <laughs> For what she calls me. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the last. Hi everyone, thank you to be here. Bonjour à tout le monde, merci d'être ici aujourd'hui. Et puis, comme vous le savez tous, j'ai l'histoire de sortir partout, mon frère. Donc, mon frère, c'est quelque chose qui me tient à cœur énormément, qui avait qui j'ai été élevé. My brother is someone that I've been, I've been growing up with. He's 29 years old now, and he's got terrible palsy. And uh, obviously, being uh, growing up with him, uh, being in those school where 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 uh, everything was putting back in perspective for me. Uh, you asking people uh, that the only thing they can move is their is their uh, their head, and and they speak by moving their head to a computer. They 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 move their wheelchair. And, but they have a smile, and they don't complain. They're, they, they're enjoying life. So when you look at that, like, who am I to complain? And uh, so every, like, nobody can pretend and uh, or to Olympic gold medalist in front of you. And no, who, nobody can pretend to be an Olympic medalist alone. We had a tremendous uh, amount of people behind us, countless time uh, that they put in. Uh, so we received so much. We received that opportunity to be here today, to have one goal and to, 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 to give it back. And uh, I had two missions coming into these games. Uh, one, first of all, was to inspire at least one kid in that country. And I think I've uh, I expressed myself in the And uh, now, that's my second goal, uh, is to give back. Uh, I, I really have, uh, I think we, me and Jennifer, have that need to give back. And uh, for and that's why 
I'm talking with Jennifer into that uh, into that world. But the word that we want to spread, I'm giving uh, donating uh, twenty five thousand dollars to uh, cerebral palsy uh, research for uh, for kids. And uh, we've talked with white kids. As a, we've talked with a, a lot of uh, doctors that are in that field and said that uh, that's where we can make the most uh, difference and, uh, to help kids. And uh, there, uh, two days ago, I was, uh, I was at the hockey house and I met somebody that was the president of the of the foundation for cerebral palsy. Uh, for actually, for for, uh, for uh, this, not this is, uh, I'm sorry for a problem. Uh, Mental problem for kids, and uh, his wife uh, has uh, three kids, uh, triplets, and, uh, and they're uh, six months, I think. And uh, they, the, uh, the three of them have cerebral palsy. And uh, I've seen my mother uh, in, in her eyes. Uh, she's going to be an angel, and that's for sure. She has 